Hello my besties, how are you? Welcome to my DIY channel. What do I have for you today? Well, <laughs> look at this beauty. I made it out of free wire hangers, totally on a budget and look how big and beautiful that is. <laughs> Would you like to see how I do it? Come on. <laughs> and if you like it, please make sure you give me thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss all these creative ideas on the budget I have coming up, okay? <laughs> Let's get started. Did I say three? <laughs> I don't know why. We're gonna need two wire hangers and a long sign from the Dollar Tree. Uh, they have long signs for every season. Currently, they're selling these. I like the welcome sign. I think it's pretty neutral and I could use it through the spring. A few weeks ago, we made this swag with the home sign and so many of you loved it but couldn't find the Christmas wreaths for the base. So that's why today we're making a video with the wire hangers. And look at my baby Coco. She loves when I wrap her in my sweater like this. She's such a cuddle bug. She just likes warm and sit on my lap. Oh, look, <laughs> the jealous birdie's here. <laughs> she has to be part of the action. You see that? Always trying to steal the show over here. <laughs> Tweety, come on. <laughs> In addition, you're gonna need one roll of deco mesh, 10 inches wide. You can get it at Hobby Lobby on sale, 50% off. And you're gonna need some color coordinating ribbons. And of course, florals. We're not doing much here, just the shamrocks from the Dollar Tree. But you know what? When I put them in a wreath, they really impressed me, came to life and wow me. So I hope you like them. I'll also add a touch of these white berries from Michael's, but you can find the berries at Dollar Tree as well. Lastly, we're gonna need pipe cleaners. First, you're gonna stretch out the hanger, and at first I thought maybe one will do, but it turned out to be too short. So then I stretch out another one, and I also shaped it a little bit, so it uh, goes along with the sign. And then I used four zip ties to tie the hangers together. To prevent sliding, I also reinforced each zip tie with hot glue. And then I cut off the second hook because we're not gonna need it. I, I gave up on the rest though, cause it's a thick wire. I didn't wanna fight it. <laughs> but this is our form. It's totally free. <laughs> Next, we are attaching the pipe cleaners all around. I would say every two inches or so. Total of 16 pipe cleaners. To prevent the pipe cleaners from sliding, I added a little bit of hot glue under each pipe cleaner. I use Gorilla Glue Sticks. And here's a close-up look, so you can copy this pattern exactly. It kind of looks like a centipede, don't you think? <laughs> so next time I make a swag, I'm just gonna tell you, I use the centipede uh, pattern, and you're gonna know what I mean, right? <laughs> and now I'm gonna use my sophisticated tool, 10 by 10 cardboard, and I'm cutting the deco mesh in 20 inches long pieces. We only gonna use uh, 16 pieces, so not even a full roll. So this is very budget friendly. And today we are going to make craffles. It's a combination of curl and raffle. Very easy technique. My subscribers already know how to do it, but for the new viewers, all you have to do is curl up one end of mesh three times, clip it, turn it around, curl up the other end three times, Walk your fingers across like making a raffle, pinch it, and just like that, you got a craffle. We love this technique because the ends are curled up in there and you don't see any fraying. All you have to do now is make these craffles and attach them all around our centipede form. <laughs> Just like that, you're gonna twist tight the pipe cleaner about two, three times. Make sure it's nice and secure there. And move on to make more. Curl up one end, clip it, 
turn it around, curl up the other end, walk your fingers across, pinch it and attach your cruffle. What do you think, easy enough? Let's make one more. Make a curl, clip it, turn it around, make another curl, walk your fingers across, pinch it. We got a cruffle that we're going to attach next to the other ones. Just twist tie it. All right, so we got three down, 13 more to go. <laughs> I know you can do this. So many of you write to me that you haven't tried deco mesh reef yet. There's nothing to be scared of. This is really easy and inexpensive too. Uh, to fill up this size reef for only $5, I mean, imagine how many flowers you would have to use if you didn't use the deco mesh. This is the most budget friendly uh, way really. So I encourage you to try it. And you actually might find it even satisfying to play with that mesh. <laughs> Did I cut one too many? Did you see the size of this thing? Oh my goodness, it takes up my whole table. It's huge. <laughs> and uh, I just noticed, I turned it around and there it is, extra pipe cleaner. I skipped it accidentally. So there's the final 16th cruffle. And just look at this thing, huge. And that's what I mean, $5 of deco mesh. You cannot achieve that with any other material. And that's how it looks from the back. And next we're going to attach our sign. We're going to use the pipe cleaners as the ties. Cover each with a lot of hot glue and cover with a little bandaid, <laughs> which is a piece of a ribbon, just like that. Usually I just make two ties for the sign, but this one is so long, I decide to double it up. So we're gonna do four. All right, let's tie it down. We're going to attach it all the way down to the form. Next, I like to turn all my cruffles to the front. I don't see the point of them being hidden behind the sign. So I just flip them all over. You see how nice and full that looks? And now we're going to attach the ribbons. I cut two sets of ribbons about 20 inches long. I love this wood grain ribbon. It's from Christmas Tree Shop. Unfortunately, that's all I have left. So we're just going to make two small bestie bows. Small, kind of like half bestie bows because we only have three pieces of ribbon for each. So we basically measure like four and a half inch loop pinch, hold with your thumb, and um, again, measure four and a half inches, pinch, hold with your thumb, and the third piece, fold it in half, four and a half inches, pinch, and hold it all together. And normally we would tie it with a floral wire, but right here we have a pipe cleaner right underneath the sign. 
and we're gonna use that to tie our bow. And you know what to do now? Just fluff, fluff, fluff. <laughs> it's not that much fluffing. We just have three loops and six tails, but this is just enough for this uh, wreath because uh, you don't want the big bow to cover part of your sign, right? So I think it's just perfect here. And now we're gonna make another one for the top of the swag. And this is so easy. Again, just measure four and a half inches, pinch it, hold it with your thumb. Again, four and a half inches, hold. One more, measure, pinch and hold. And now tie it all together with the pipe cleaner that's already there. And then just fluff, fluff, fluff until pretty half a bestie bow appears. <laughs> By the way, if you are new to my channel if, and if you never made a bestie bow before, you wanna look up this video. Uh, it's the easiest bow out there, my subscribers favorite and anybody can do it. All right, and now we're going to do some tails. We're gonna do two longer ones, 24 inches long. And then uh, I got here four, we're gonna actually use six, 12 inches. All right, so the longer ribbon we're gonna do on both sides of the sign. We're gonna leave a tail about six inches long, tie it down to one of the pipe cleaners that's already there. And we make a nice loose loop, uh, pinch it and tie it down to the next pipe cleaner, just like that. Fluff it up, nice and loose, very casual, <laughs> just breezy. Oh, whatever. <laughs> I'm breezy. <laughs> you, hey, you can't say you're breezy. That, that totally negates the breezy. So just make it look breezy, okay? <laughs> and then we're gonna attach some shorter tails. We're gonna fold in half to find the midpoint. Then we make like a V shape and attach it right here in the middle underneath the longer piece. Twist tie it. And then we're gonna do another one at the top and at the bottom. And now we're going to mirror exact same placement on the opposite side. All right, and now we are done with the ribbons. We're gonna fluff them up and cut off all the excess pipe cleaners. And here are my sweet little girls. <laughs> my daughter just came from her ballet class and Coco missed her, look at them. Oh, so cute. <laughs> Next, I wanna show you something. You see like the pipe cleaner is sticking out right here and I wanna make sure that it goes underneath the sign, like it's not showing. So I'm just gonna use a little bit of hot glue and hold it under there for a minute. 
I'm going to do that all around the reef. I just want to make sure that there's no space between my craffles and the signs. So I'm just going to glue them under there slightly. And when you're done going all around, you're going to cut a piece of cardboard about the size of your sign, maybe a little bit larger, and we're going to attach that to the back. That's going to give us a nice finished look and also it's going to make your swag more stable. Actually very stable. Nothing's going to move there and look how nice it looks and finish, right? And right there you have your hook at the top that you can hang your swag with. How do you like that? I think it's a great solution. In the past, we also used a baby blanket or a piece of felt, so whatever you have on hand. And next, we're gonna cut up our greenery to pieces. First, we are going to add some white berries at the top and also at the bottom. And then I'm adding the shamrocks all around the swag. I'm not gluing anything just yet, just playing around with the placement first. I'm also going to insert a few in a bow at the top and also later at the bottom as well. I think it adds a little bit more dimension to the swag. Step back, take a look at it. If you like the placement, take it back to your table and glue everything down. At the end, don't forget to add a couple pieces on the sides so your swag is beautiful all the way around. Are you ready to see the final result? Make sure you stick to the end because I have a bonus craft for you! And now a quick bonus craft with this adorable Dollar Tree picture frame. Here's the barcode if you like to look it up online. It is just the cutest thing of the season. Of course, you can use any other picture frame you have laying around. First, we're going to open it up. I really like the insert that's already there. Unfortunately, the circle is not removable, so I have to use something else for the backdrop. I have this scrapbook paper from Hobby Lobby. You can get four for a dollar, so I'm just going to cut it to size. Put it back together, but without the glass. And we're going to use the Dollar Tree heart stickers or the wooden hearts from the value pack. And we're going to put together a four leaf clover. Isn't that adorable? We're gonna use one of the toothpicks for a little stem. 
And once you're happy with your shape, you're gonna head glue it. I'm adding the glass back in the back because uh, the frame is a little bit loose without it. And then I printed some words on my computer, uh, just in different fonts to see what fits. And then I'm gonna insert it right there in the little picture frame slot. The next step is optional. I'm digging again in my value pack because there's many hearts in there. And I'm gonna make another little clover on the side over here. I'm thinking three leaf for this one because what are the chances of finding two four leaf clovers, right? <laughs> but you do whatever you feel like it. What else brings good luck? Ladybugs, right? Well, I cannot find my ladybug buttons. I got them at Walmart, but I'm gonna pull one off the toy over here and attach it on the side as well, just for good luck. <laughs> And just like that, we got a cute little sign or even a good luck charm that you could give to somebody who needs some good luck. And this reminds me of these adorable ladybugs, laser cut wood. I just found them at a Dollar Tree and I think they'll be perfect for my reef. So I'm gonna add for some good luck there too. <laughs> watching i hope you had enjoyed this video if you did please give me thumbs up also subscribe to my channel for many more creative ideas on a budget coming up make sure you hit the little notification bell that way youtube will notify you when i'm back here with a new video okay thanks so much for watching see you next time bye bye